I was contacted by a production team from Dangerous Limited for a documentary series called Clash of the Dinosaurs. Now, for the first time in 65 million years, cutting edge imaging technology takes us inside their bodies to reveal just what the world's toughest defenders are made of. I realized that my words had been twisted to make it look as if I was presenting an idea that I don't actually accept. Moving a mountain of flesh requires sophisticated coordination. One of the curious things about sauropods is that they did have a swelling in the spinal cord in the neighborhood of their pelvis. This was sort of like a second brain to help control the back half of the body. It's called the sacrolumbar expansion, a bundle of nerves which acts like a primitive brain controlling the movements of the legs and tail. The brain in a Sora Poseidon's head is simply too small and far away to coordinate its front and back legs. So like a prehistoric fire truck, a second brain operates the back end of the animal. So there I was watching the documentary on TV and I see myself saying the words that I had said, but with the framing removed so that the meaning was actually turned around 180 degrees. What they did is take a, out the part where I said, there was an old idea that, and then the, but now we know, and just left me saying. They did have a swelling in the spinal cord in the neighborhood of their pelvis. This was sort of like a second brain to help control the back half of the body. And left me just saying this old disproven idea that I actually don't accept. It had completely reversed the meaning of what I said.